Oh boy. Oh boy. New hunt content. Brand new event, brand new legendary hunters, and a brand new weapon and tool? It's a good day to be in the bayou. Light the Shadow is the new event currently going on in Hunt Showdown, and it brings with it a new weapon, a new tool, four highly requested hunters, and a new time of day. The event is split into two paths, one focused on the brand new hunting bow, and the other on the brand new tomahawk. You can choose one to start, and upon completion of the first path, you can start the second path. Each path needs a thousand event points to fully unlock, but thankfully, event points are pretty easy to earn this time around. Event points are earned by destroying pyres, killing hives with a hunting bow, killing armors with a throwing axe, activating an event ward, killing a boss, and looting a hunter's corpse. I think the hunt devs have learned a lot from the last few in-game events, and have struck the perfect balance of PvP and PvE for earning event points. In the last event, As the Crow Flies, the event heavily pivoted to Hunt's PvE elements, and led to a lot of players going around like this in each game. But the simple addition of earning event points from looting a dead hunter really makes the event rewarding for actually playing the game. The hunting bow has every hunter's attention right now, as it's been a highly requested weapon for some time. The hunting bow is a medium slot weapon costing 96 hunt dollars. It comes with special ammo types, those being the poison arrow, the concertina arrow, and frag arrows. Oh boy, I'm sure this is gonna go well over on console. Its biggest advantages are its one-shot kill potential, bleed effect on hit, decent range, and stealthy ability to kill adds and players. While this is nice, it does come with a few notable disadvantages. Drawing the bow takes a decent amount of time, and can definitely get you killed. And the noise of drawing the bow can give your position away when you're trying to be stealthy. Overall, I think the hunting bow is the better of the projectile weapons in Hunt. While drawing the bow does take some time, you're ready to fire again significantly faster than the crossbow. Its medium slot size lets you bring it with Quartermaster as well, and its killing ability is miles better than the hand crossbow, in my opinion. Poison ammo makes this a force to be reckoned with, as you give players both the bleed effect and the poison effect, giving you a unique opportunity to push a player and get a kill. And now for the Tomahawk, the newly introduced tool. These deal a hefty amount of damage, and can be thrown decently far, but in comparison to the throwing knives, you get four less and throw significantly slower. So. In a nutshell, the Tomahawk is the beefier brother of the throwing knives. They're a cool addition, but I'm not really certain if they'll be seen much in the bayou after the event. Four new legendary hunters have been added to Hunt Showdown, all based on the Native American people of the Chitimacha tribe. I think they look great. The hunt devs wrote an article talking about the behind the scenes on the development of these hunters, and the basis for their designs. So, if you're interested in that, I've left a link in the description. We've also got some new legendary items a conversion pistol skin, and a Winfield Marksman skin, which all look pretty good if you ask me. And finally, a new time of day. It looks pretty cool, but I don't know what else to say about it. And with all that out of the way, let's end on a couple clips I've gathered from the event. Oh, and by the way, I've got a Qbert's rant coming out next Sunday. Why are you crouching? I'm, I'm, I'm oh. grab a handful, I have to grab a handful of mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that actually segues into my next point perfectly. Elaborate. Ice cream cone, mm -hmm. but instead of ice cream, mashed potato. Mashed potato? Um, the worst surprise of your life. I mean, it's about the same consistency. I don't know why it hasn't been done yet. No, it'd be a surprise, because you just give it to someone and they expect ice cream and they bite into it and they get mashed potato and they cry. <laughs> when they see, see the see fucking steam coming off the top. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. It's cold mashed like, potatoes. It's cold, cold mashed potato. potato. <laughs> like, honestly, if I got a hot mashed potato cone, I, I wouldn't be that disappointed. I no, no. I mean, it would just be convenient. <laughs> The potatoes, the potato, the potato yeah, just like cold mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> they think it's ice cream. They bite into it. It's just, ew. Which one of you, cock? Blower enjoyers, and that's not a bad thing, that is actually completely up to you. And just to make it so that it is related to everybody, cock, sucker, blower, or pussy eater, liquor.
took my bounty. Which of you did it? A bad thing. I am just referring to that you uh, as them as such. It's not a bad thing. In fact, it's a compliment because it implies that you have intercourse, which we know you don't. You are welcome. <laughs> Oh my goodness.